Welcome to The Den, Authentic Barnwood. My name is Troy and today we should talk about a hidden barnwood treasure. I call it a hidden barnwood treasure because it's so often overlooked and sometimes it's the best wood in the whole house. This little gem that we're talking about is back behind me and it's the doors out of old houses. The wood that these doors were made out of, including the frame, is generally a hardwood and it's built to be straight for a long time. It used joinery that you don't see these days unless you're getting a custom build from a furniture maker that specializes. If you're out there salvaging wood, you're gonna see these doors and these doors are like, for us in this area, we can buy these doors for $25. It's insane. Uh, generally, the problem that I see is that when people put these doors out for sale, they're just putting the door. Sometimes there's the hardware, sometimes the hardware's off. Generally it's on because no one knows what to do with it. And they're like, well, it's kind of a package. And when I say package, it's like, where's the frame? There's never ever a frame sold with these doors. Why not, if you're out there and you're salvaging the wood, why not just go a step further and take the frame too? Just leave the door as is, hinges intact, attach to the frame and take the whole frame out. Now, those doors alone are going for around $25 and it's just basically the, the pins are pulling out and, and here's your door. <laughs> so for $25 and you get no frame. So if you want to increase the value of what you're offering and you're, and you're really going for the, here's a door, buy a door, I'm selling a door, kind of an angle, you might want to consider taking the frame and tack on an extra hundred bucks. Hey, yeah. Now how many doors are in a house? Ooh, that's a good question. How many levels does the house have, right? It's like, wow. So consider that. Uh, but if you're also going to use a door for your own project, then you're going to want to clean it. The big thing about this is if you're gonna go ahead and wash it with water and soap, like I did, and dry it off outside. Uh, if you got nice sunny weather, you know, let it dry out. We don't right now, we got snow on the ground, so this is coming inside, and it's gonna have to dry really well, so we'll turn the heat up a little bit. Plus, I'll also open this door up. Right now, I have it tacked up here and down low, just so everything stays together, because if you don't, you're gonna like, yeah, you don't want that. <laughs> You don't want that. Then the last step, you might want to use something like a varathane, right? So this one here, this is what we're using on this door. And I think it'll work really well. Just the authenticity of this itself. I mean, there's one square nail there. And you know, I got a few nails to take out, but there's another square nail too. We're starting to change already. Way nicer. One more thing about the Verithane is this right here, this will lock in any paint chips on this old wood it'll also be nice and smooth to the touch nice and easy to clean and it also any dirt or something like that it gets locked in by this uh, hopefully you got all the dirt away but sometimes you just can't get her all that's all right coated with this you're going to be very happy also there's instructions on these cans. So hopefully there's a few tips there that you can use to either A, make a little more money out of your salvage project, or when you do get an old door, a nice way to clean it and get it ready for a do-it-yourself type project. All right, for anyone that stayed and watched the whole thing right to uh, this point, I'm gonna give you a tip. And these doors here, remember I was saying they're 25 bucks and they're hardwood? 
I'll tell you what, we could easily just forget it being a door, chop out this side, one panel here, chop this panel out, chop that panel out, and you got yourself a nice stack of wood to woodwork with for other projects. Probably one of the cheapest ways to go about getting reclaimed wood and getting some of the best wood is out of these doors. If you like this kind of video or you want to learn more about where the wood comes from, our reclaimed wood, how we get it, and what we do with it, you're going to want to watch one of these videos next.